All right, I don't know about you guys at home, but I have to be totally honest. I do find swimming a bit of a chore and a bit of a faff. It's not that encouraging just trying to get myself to a swimming pool, getting myself wet, and all the faff that's involved with it. Yeah, that doesn't have to be the case though. So today, we're gonna to be sharing our tips and tricks that we've picked up at GTN over the years so that you can have a hassle-free swim. Alright, let's be honest, it can be all too easy to put a swim off simply due to all this faff that can be associated with swimming. I mean, you've got to get your kit ready, you've then maybe got to get yourself into a car, then drive yourself to a swimming pool, then maybe even have to drive around trying to find a parking space. And this is all before you've actually got yourself into the swimming pool building. When you compare that to something like running, where you simply whack your running shoes on and off you go out the door, in comparison, it can seem quite laborious. Now, obviously we're trying to make this as pain-free as possible and as easy as possible for you. So one simple tip, and it may sound very small, but actually can have quite an impact, is actually popping your swimming costume on at home before you leave. Now, this is particularly useful if you're swimming first thing in the morning. So as soon as you get out of bed, whack your costume on, and that's taking one process out of the equation. So you can just whiz straight through the change rooms, or maybe not even go to the change rooms at all, because if you're leaving your bag on poolside, you just take your clothes off there. Just one tip, make sure you take some underwear for afterwards. And now for another small yet very effective time saver. Using a pair of flip-flops or sliders, or dare I say, even a pair of Crocs. They're all super easy to slip on and off and just gonna reduce that time spent in the changing rooms. And they can double up as being footwear for poolside in certain scenarios. If it's say wet and slippery, and maybe a little bit dirty, then it can help to keep your feet clean and safe from anything that's lying around. And then in the summer months, well, they can save it even more time because you're not gonna have to battle with the hassle of trying to get your socks on quickly or a pair of tights or anything, you can simply put your flip-flops on without even having to hardly dry your feet. And on the subject of time saving, a dry rope or equivalent can be a great investment for both before and after your swims, particularly for open air pools, lidos, and of course, open water swimming. And if you haven't taken on my advice from the beginning of this video, where get changed prior to heading to a swimming pool, then a dry rope can also serve as your own private changing rooms. You can get changed underneath it when you get to the swimming pool or obviously after your swim. I've also known many people actually just to get out of their swim, leave their costume on, whack their dry robe on and drive home and have a shower at home. Whatever floats your boat. All right, so you're ready to swim at last. It's probably now time to look at some tips for a hassle-free session itself. Hands up if you've been there when you've gone to put your cap on and you've felt it split in your hands or you've popped your goggle strap over the back of your head and it goes ping. It's pretty frustrating and it can actually curtail your session if you don't have a backup. However, it is easily solved having some spares in your bag. So swim caps, we usually have plenty of those from races or just from your club. You're probably gonna have a spare one, so keep it in the bottom of your bag. Goggles are maybe a little harder to have a spare set of, but you probably find that you might keep a spare special pair for racing, or you've got a pair that a little bit old and they've kind of been retired, but they're still usable in the desperate circumstances. So why not keep one of those in the bottom of your bag so you've got that spare, or even a spare to lend to a friend if they get in trouble. And finally, there's the swimsuit issue. Have you ever turned up to training and you've packed everything, but you may be gone in the afternoon and you've not put your swimsuit on underneath, and you get there and there's no costume in your bag? You're gonna to struggle to borrow that one. So if you can, keep a spare or make sure you always get changed before you leave, like we talked about earlier. All right, this one's an oldie, but a goldie. Not everyone obviously has the luxury of being part of a swimming club, triathlon club, or having a coach on pool deck telling them and explaining a swim workout to them. And how many times have you jumped into a swimming pool yourself only to forget what you're meant to be doing? What was the warm up again? Was it five or six reps of the main set? You get the picture. Right, simple fix though. Simply write the session down on a bit of paper like this. Then when you get to the swimming pool, 
dip it in the water gently, and then whack that to the front of a swimming block like this one. And hey presto, if you don't have a swimming block to stick it onto, then you could always use a kickboard, whack it on there, obviously. Bit of an issue when you do come to the kick set and you need to use this, so you have to lightly pull that off. Or, failing that, and something I've done many times before, it's actually stick it to your swimming bottle. So there we go. Accountability is great for making sure you turn up, and you come and get something done. And that couldn't be more true when it comes to swimming. If you can join a swim squad, then that is ideal. And you'll notice that most pros, even if they're individual athletes, will do their best to actually swim with a squad as it will make sure they get there, make sure they get a key session done and help keep them on pace. If that's not an option, maybe you can try and find a group of friends to swim with, but at the least, try to find a friend or a buddy or even someone that you happen to be swimming with quite often at the pool to just say, right, we're gonna swim at this time so it makes sure that you turn up on time, but also commit to the session beforehand with each other. So you hold each other accountable, you'll both get more out of it that way and it'll also be far more enjoyable. Right, here's one for you. Who gets fed up with finishing their swim and whacking all their wet gear into the swimming bag only to soak everything, leaving the swimming pool and all that water trickling out of the bag down your back? And in the process, absolutely soaking everything. So when you get home, you've got the faff of trying to dry all of this stuff out. Well, here's some little tricks for you. Kickboard and various items like this. Just scrape them down on the wall or something similar to get rid of as much water from them as possible before popping them in. And then all the other wet items like your costume, goggles, pop them inside your swimming hat. So it's containing as much moisture as possible. Let's finish off with a fun one, snacks. I mean, we all love snacks, and after a swim, we definitely crave them more than normal. So be prepared for this and make sure you've got something to hand that's gonna be a more healthy version than maybe you can buy at your local service station or at your swim center. So pack a muesli bar or some kind of sports nutrition bar or gels, whatever it is you know that you crave in your swim bag, maybe even in your glove box in your car or in a drawer in your desk at work. So you can try to avoid that craving for getting a chocolate bar instead. Well, that wraps it up for today. Hopefully these tips are gonna make your swimming far more hassle-free and just make you slightly more inclined to go and get your training done. If you already do some of these, great, but if there's some you're gonna take up as a result of this video, let us know. Do that in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed it and check out GTN social media channels and why not subscribe to us here on YouTube if you haven't yet done so.